Hi, dear doers, and welcome back. In this video, we'll discuss cash basis taxes. Cash basis taxes are reported based on when payments are made rather than when invoices are confirmed, as with standard taxes. Reporting your income and expenses to the government based on the cash basis method is mandatory in some countries and under some conditions. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go into our accounting settings and I'll go into configuration and settings and I'm going to turn on cash basis right here. And here we see we also have the option to select a default journal and even a default account if we want to. So I will save this and the next thing I'll do is go to our taxes. So through configuration into taxes and what I'm going to do is just duplicate this first tax that we have here. And in this duplicated copy, I will change it to 21% cash basis. And now in the advanced options tab, I'm going to change the tax exigibility to based on payment. And here we need to set a transition account and I will set this to be our 45101 um, transition account. And so the account that we select here is going to be used to hold that value temporarily between the invoice confirmation and the payment. How about tax report, Alice? How do the different methods affect it? That's a great question. So yes, of course, this will have an impact on the tax report. The easiest way to explain the difference is just to show you. So let's make two different invoices, one with the standard tax and one with the cash basis tax. So I'm going to create a new invoice for our friends at Acres Lawn Care, and we're going to sell them some fertilizer. And on this first invoice, you can see we have the standard 21% tax rate. And if we open the journal items tab, we can see the standard lines of the debit and the receivable and the credit and the income and tax accounts. We can see here that our tax grids are complete which indicates that these amounts will be present on the tax report once this is confirmed. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we're going to create a second invoice. I'll just duplicate this one. But here we're actually going to change the tax to use our cash basis tax. Now, when we look at these journal items, you'll see we have the same lines for our receivables and our income account, but the tax account is now going to use the tax transit account instead of the main VAT payable. Additionally, our tax grids are empty, meaning we won't have an impact on the tax report just yet, even when we confirm. Now that we've confirmed both these invoices, let's take a look at our tax report. So we can see we're filtered by the current month. And we have a payment here, or the amount rather, for just one invoice. Now let's register a payment on the cash basis invoice. So we'll go back to our invoices and into this most recent one with the cash basis tax, and we'll register a payment. Once we do, you can see we have a smart button linked to our cash basis entries. We can open that smart button and take a look at our journal entry. The first two journal items are a bit strange because we have a debit and a credit for the same account. But the difference is that this time we're applying the tax grid, which means that with this entry, we are going to have an impact on the tax report. The second two journal items balance out the transition account, so it goes back to zero and they move that balance to the VAT payable account with the correct tax grid. So now let's check out the tax report again, and we'll see that as expected, we now have 200 euros here, the amount of taxes for both invoices. So that's how simple it is to set up cash basis taxes in Odoo. Thanks for watching. This has been your pal Dow, and I'll catch you in the next one.